Welcome everybody. Today's video finds us in Pagna area of Thailand. We are north of Phuket and just south of Kaolack, about 35 kilometers or so. But what, we, what brought me over here today is all of this behind me. This is Mung Thai Beach. It's a 14 kilometer long stretch of some amazing white sand. And the reason I'm out here is because as you can see, there is nobody else here. This is absolutely magnificent. So let's look around here and uh, I'll talk a little bit about it and I'm absolutely gonna break out the drone and fly it out here and uh, let's see what we see today. This is the beach. And look at that water out there. Now this beach, like I said, is 14 kilometers long and it just goes along the coast. There's a total of 32 kilometers of these white sand beaches all along here through this national park area. And where we're at is a little town. It is uh, Mung Tha or Thai Mung. And there is a little bit of restaurants and stuff like that, but this is a local area. There's not any big resorts here. All the big resorts are either in Phuket or Kaolack. So you come here, this is more of a Thai local beach. And for a Thai beach, this is really, really clean. There's not lots and lots of rubbish like you sometimes will find. But how amazing is this? This is the middle of the day. There's one guy that's coming to jog here. I can see a little kid way up there. And this is in the middle part of the town. So if you're in Kalak, it's 30, 35 kilometers or so south. And if you come here, you come here not for the amenities, you come here for this. How beautiful is this? So where we're at, if you go straight out that way, about 70 kilometers, that is the Similan Islands. And up this way, about the same distance, is the Surin Islands. And then if you just go south along the coast, you'll eventually come up to the island of Phuket. And you see here, this beach has all the sea pines. So it's a great place if you come here with the family and you just want a picnic and hang out. Bring your car, bring everybody and sit up underneath the trees and then come out here and play on this beach. The beach is just absolutely perfect. The water is amazing. There's no rocks. It's just this powdery, powdery sand.
Yeah, I just love coming to places like this. It's so much different than where I'm from in Colorado. I mean, it's nice to enjoy the many beaches and oceans in Colorado, but <laughs> whenever they all melt, this time of year it's so cold and you come here and it's just a perfect day. It's a little overcast, but it's not bad at all. I've been here when it's raining really hard and it's not as much fun, but today is just glorious. Just check this out though. So if you like peace and solitude, this is where you want to come. And they have built a little park up here. And it looks like the locals will do like night markets and stuff like that. And there's just places to park your car right up here underneath the shade trees. They have a warning flag out there which is saying do not swim because it is a little bit of the outgoing tide so it could pull you out to the ocean. You can see some like a big catamaran way way out there on the horizon. And then right up here this is the the center part of the beach. Just to give you an idea this is the main beach area and we got this mom with the little kid running around and we had that one jogger just perfect you can walk up and down this beach all you want and just have a nice day it's just really really great so I'll show you up around back behind the beach and then uh, I'll wander around here a little bit more on my own. And what's cool is you're walking along here. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but there's all these little ghost crabs just scurrying about. I love watching them do their thing. They're so fast. You can see there's just powdery sand and all the little flowers and stuff like that up here. And then they have the little turtle statue here. And that's what they do call this. They call this Turtle Beach also. You see the sign here we love turtle beach and they have a little thing they're going to set up here this will be for new year's it looks like and then they have like a little market and stuff that they'll have here and this is what you see this is uh the whole area there is a little town when you're going across the main road it's kind of an older like fishing village and stuff like that and you kind of go down through it over to here and, uh, little turtle statue got a dog over there digging around and this is what to expect little coffee shops and stuff will be along here and little restaurants you can stop have something to eat like right here but it is way way sleepy and you're far far away from all of the tourists one last little look around here at this beach That's going to finish up our video over here at Tai Mung Beach. This is just absolutely beautiful. It's a big change. Yesterday I was in Phuket and the beaches looked like you were in Bangkok. Kata Beach was just so crowded. And in here today, I'm out here on a beach that's, that's even more beautiful than that without just the masses of people. There are no amenities here. I mean, there's probably a few little hotels and stuff. I think there's a hot springs nearby and a few other things, but they won't be very big chains. Uh, you're gonna have to hire transportation to get over here, a van or something like that, unless you have your own car or motorcycle. But if you get here, it's worth it if you just want some peace and some solitude. This is about as good as you get in Thai beaches. The 14 kilometers of this white sand is amazing. Anyway, uh, I would highly recommend it if you, uh, if you like this kind of stuff. I'm gonna walk around here and I'm gonna enjoy this a little bit more. This is what I came here for. I uh, drove down from Calac just to see this. So anyway, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you smash like. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, stick around, and then you're notified when I post a new video. And if, uh, if you're new here, definitely stick around. This is what I do. I show you things that I see and tell you a little bit about what I know. And uh, leave me a comment. If you have any questions or if you've been here, let me know. And until next time, from over here in Calac in Pagna, remember, 
life is a journey. Until next time, enjoy. Mm -hmm.